All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the TradingView platform and also how to change some general settings to get you going. All right, now don't forget, if you are brand new to TradingView and you don't have an account yet, you can sign up by clicking the link below and it'll give you the latest promotion that they are offering. So let's get started here. Uh, this is going to be your default layout. And the very first thing I change is switching it to dark mode. So if you come over here to the top left and then click dark mode, It'll make everything dark, which is a little bit easier on the eyes. Next thing I change is these grid lines. I like to remove these to give it a cleaner look. So what we're going to do is right click inside the charts, go to settings and then come to canvas. And then we're going to go to grid lines and then click on these two boxes. So let's start with this first box right here. We're going to come down here and then scroll this all the way to the left to where it says 0%. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for this box right there. Take that scroll bar, go all the way to the left, and then click OK. And now we have a clean chart. So what we're looking at here is the one minute chart of SPY, which is the S&P 500. If you wanted to switch stocks, then you can either click inside the bar and then type in the stock that you want, or you can just click inside the charts and start typing and it'll do it like that as well. Now this area is going to be your time frames. So if you wanted to switch from a one minute chart to let's say a daily chart, then you would do that in this area right here. If you click this drop down menu, then it's going to show you all the time frames available and you can even create your own custom time frame. All right, so let's go back to the one minute chart. And as you can see, it's not showing pre or post market data. So by default, they have that off. So we need to turn that on. And how we do that is we right click inside the chart, go to settings and then come to symbol. And then right here where it says session, we click this drop down menu and then click extended trading hours. Okay, so now it's going to give us pre and post market data, which is highlighted in these colored boxes here. Now, if you wanted to change the colors of pre and post market, then you come over here to this first box and that's going to change the pre-market data. So we click inside that box, we'll change that to yellow. And then now we know everything in the yellow portion here is going to be pre-market data. So let's do the same thing and go to the second box to change the post-market and we'll make that purple. So now we know everything in the purple is going to be post-market, everything in the yellow is going to be pre-market, and everything else that's in this gray is going to be the regular session, all right? Now, since we're on this screen, we can go ahead and change our candle colors. By default, all of your up candles are going to be green and all of your down candles are going to be red. But I personally like to change mine to where all my up bars or white. So this column right here is all going to be your up bars and then all my down bars are going to be green. So this is just personal preference because it's the same colors in the 1215 logo. Once we're done with that, we're going to click OK. All right, the next thing I do is relocate the volume area. So all these bars down here are going to be the volume bars. And right now they're sharing the same window as all the price candles. So if you zoom in, you can see that sometimes the volume bars are touching the price candles and I don't really like that. So to change that, I'm going to hover over this volume area right here and then click these three dots. And then from the drop down menu, I'll go to move to and then I'll choose new pane below. So now this separates the volume from all the candle bars and it also creates a scale over here to where I can get a general idea of how much volume these volume bars are displaying. So it looks like right around here is about 20,000 shares. So it just kind of helps me put a number to that. Now, speaking of price scales, you don't have to do this, but I personally like to have all my price scales to the left. So to change the location, we're gonna right click inside the price scale and then come down to where it says move scale to left. Okay, so now all the scales are over here on the left. Okay, now let's talk about drawing tools. All of your drawing tools are going to be here on the left and there's a ton of things that you can do. You can add text if you want to, you can add emojis if you want to, you can add all kinds of trend lines and certain shapes. So lots of different options, but the ones that I use the most are going to be trend lines. So if you wanted to use a trend line, you would have to hover your mouse over this section right here. And there's this little arrow that you have to click and that'll bring a drop down menu. 
okay? And it will give you all the options. But in my opinion, that takes a little bit too much time having to go down through this drop down menu to find the one that I want. So what I do is use my favorite tools and add them to my favorites toolbar. And how you do that is you hover over the one you want and then click on this little star right there. And when you do that, another box is going to pop up and this is going to be your favorites toolbar. So let's add some more here. Another one I use is the horizontal line, the horizontal ray, and then I also use the long positions tool, which can be found right here. We'll talk more about this tool in a later lesson, but those are going to be my four main tools that I use, and they're all populated on my favorites bar. Now, the reason why I love this is because you can move this toolbar to anywhere you want, because if you're doing some charting and you have to act very quickly, sometimes you don't have time to come over here to the left and scroll through drop down menus and stuff okay so instead I can quickly come to my favorites toolbar and just click on the one that I need and then snap it in very quickly okay so I think that makes it a lot easier all right now you can change your drawing tools however you like so all you have to do is right click on the drawing that you made and then go to settings and you have options to make adjustments. You can change the line to a certain color if you want. You can change exactly what price you want that line to occur at. So we'll just say 164.15. And then if you come over to the price scale, it has it right there at 164.15. So you have some options there to adjust for your liking. All right. So that's pretty much the major settings that I have for my charts. Another thing that I do is I like to have more than two time frames displayed at once. So how you do that is you click this square over here and it will show you different layouts that you can have. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And what this allows me to do is either see two different stocks at one time or two different time frames at one time. So if I wanted a one minute chart over here, but then I click over on this chart, I can maybe see a daily chart and then I have access to that. Another setting that you might change referring to this is by clicking the square again and then linking the symbol or unlinking it. If you link the symbol, then whenever you go to switch stocks, so we'll just type in Nvidia here, it's going to be the same stock in both windows, okay? But if you unlink it by turning that off, then it'll be different stocks. You just have to click inside the pane that you want to change. Okay, so right now I'm clicked inside this box because it's highlighted in blue here. So if I wanted to change this to, we'll just say Apple. Now I have Apple on this side and Nvidia on this side. One last thing I want to show you is the watch list area, which is going to be right here. This is where you can create your own watch list so you don't have to type in the stock every time. So if you wanted to add a stock, you would click on this plus symbol right there and then type in the stock that you want. Press enter and then now the stock is in this window. So now you can quickly go to the stock just by clicking inside of it. Now, when you click on a stock, it's going to show you the most recent news headline down here and also some key fundamentals that you may need to know, as well as some other important information. And then actually one more thing that I want to show you is the alarms tab. OK, if you click on the alarms, this is going to show you all of your active and non active alarms and how you set an alarm is you see this little plus sign right here. If you hover over that plus sign and then click on it, a menu will pop up and it will say, add alert at this price okay if you click on that now there's this dotted line and that's an alert so what this basically helps you do is alert you whenever the price is coming into that area so if the price does reverse up and it crosses this line it's going to alert me and i may make a decision just kind of based off of that alert okay you can move this alert up or down if you want to just by clicking and dragging it so that would be a really helpful tool to use as well all right so that is a basic navigation of trading view and how to set it up all right again if you don't have this platform i highly recommend you getting it if you click the promotional link below you may be able to get a discount i hope you all learned something and I'd like to thank you so much for watching.